Our top story on Newsday and authorities will deploy an underwater drone to conduct sonar searches for the missing Malaysia Airlines plane. The search coordinator Angus Houston said no pings have been detected since last Tuesday and it's now time for the next step which is going underwater. Joining us now from the Joint Agency Coordination Centre in Perth is Sky News reporter Cameron Price. Cam, there are certainly some developments uh, today in this search for the missing flight with authorities now assuming the black box uh, probably has run out of battery. Ash, good afternoon. That's right. Two main developments from today's media briefing with Angus Houston. The first, uh, an oil slick that has been detected by the Ocean Shield around about five and a half kilometres from where the acoustic pings were picked up over the past week. That is a significant development. Testing is underway to try to link that oil slick uh, to MH370 to the missing Malaysian airline. If that can be done, then that would be a way for authorities to say once and for all this is the final resting place of MH370. Let's take a listen to more from Angus Houston on that. Another development I can report Ocean Shield detected an oil slick yesterday evening in her current search area. A sample of about two litres has been collected and it will be a number of days before it can be landed ashore and conclusively tested. I stress the source of the oil is yet to be determined, but the oil slick is approximately 5,500 metres downwind and down sea from the vicinity of the detections picked up by the towed pinger locator on Ocean Shield. Second development today, the uh, acceptance by authorities that the batteries on what's thought to be the black box transponders from the missing airliner uh, have now all but certainly run out. They haven't received any acoustic signals since last Tuesday. So now it is signalling the end of the search for signals and uh, signalling the start of the search for uh, the underwater search. The Bluefin 21 submarine, an unmanned submarine, will de be deployed this afternoon to search the ocean floor to try to locate the wreckage site. But uh, authorities have warned this will be a painstakingly slow process. Let's take a listen to more on that. Autonomous underwater vehicle in side scan sonar mode transmits an active pulse which produces a high resolution three-dimensional map of the sea floor. The deployment of the autonomous underwater vehicle has the potential to take us a further step towards visual identification since it offers a possible opportunity to detect debris from the aircraft on the ocean floor. And Ash, uh, this underwater vehicle can search around about 40 square kilometres a day, but we're told the search area that authorities have designated is far greater. This could be a very long attempt, a very long effort, Ash. Yeah, still a way to go. Cameron Price in Perth, thank you.